All right, welcome back everybody to Getting Started on Azure Container Apps for .NET Developers. My name is Matt. I'm joined by my best friend in the entire world. <laughs> Frank. 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 Yay. Frank, and today we're going to talk about, still talk about getting started on Azure Container Apps for .NET Developers. The very, very first step though, monoliths. Yes. What, what, what is it while we're talk, starting there? Well, often when people are thinking about migrating or things like that, or like going microservices, because often Azure Container Apps is associated with microservices, still people have like a monolith. And when I say monolith, I mean like it's a big solution. Everything is packaged together, right? Yeah. So, so we can still use Azure Container Apps. And so this... This time, what we want to talk is just show that and kind of also look at our app, what it looks like, what we'll be working with and like cutting in pieces and adding like a bunch of stuff and monitoring and all that for the, the other mm -hmm. video, like what we are working on. Cool. And you can also follow at home. Oh, yes. Follow on your on. own page. Yeah. So we have a GitHub repo. I'm here right now. And you can see, get started with like exactly how you say it, Matt. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Good memory. Uh, you don't need much because we're using uh, code spaces to code and stuff like that. But you could like see all the things we'll be doing and not too much. I don't, I don't like when we have like 25 chapters here. It's just like, you know, very nice. big inner friendly. Nice foreshadowing, Frank, on what's to come too. Let's get yeah, everybody kind of interested. Right. I already clone the repo locally so we'll switch to my uh we'll close this and we'll switch to my vs code so it's the same page i just put it instead of like looking at it in the markdown file i, I put it pretty so it's easier so i can make it bigger too voila and i already did like a few steps so you save me some copy paste but what i want to show you here is uh like i, I was saying this is a monolith it's one project. And in there, like I have a bunch of different, I can, I can even zoom, with, let's do it the proper way, right? It still have some structure where I have like my APIs over there, like all the endpoints are product, the store, like, so I still have some structure, but it, it is one big project. Yeah. And the reason why we're telling this is a lot of times, at least I think when you hear containers, you think, microservices right away. And what we want to really show is like, uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. I mean, this is a nicely structured pro project, but you could take it and pop it up into a container, pop it up on uh, ACA, um, makes it easily. So yeah, so that's why I just wanted to go through and kind of really drive that point home. Well, what's cool here is uh, what Frank is doing is, and he mentioned it before, is that in the repo that he showed you, we have step-by-step -step instructions of going through everything that we're going to show you here so you can kind of learn it at home as well. So don't feel like exactly. you have to type along with Frank. So right now, I just stepped the, uh, I, I went quickly over, kind of like pre-set pre, pre -set up my environment. And now the thing I want to do is run it locally. Just, just so we have a feel of, you know, we saw the code, the structure, not the code, but we saw the structure. I don't think we need to go into the details of the code today, no. but, um, and I want to run it. So like a .NET uh, run or watch in this case. So right now it's building and obviously like it's a bigger project. So it's building, it's being stuff. Uh, we have a database, so we put some data in there, so it's it's nice, and obviously it pop up in a different monitor, but here it is. So I will put it full size. I will zoom, 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 so we see it properly. So on on screen, our store, so a little animations loading the store location. Great work, Matt. I think you were involved in, in that. Yeah, view. I did. I did the animation. I vi coded it. I used Copilot to vi code that little animation spinner. That's my uh, that's contribution nice. to the product. I like it. I like it. And then product. So uh, that's a little bit too big. So voila. So like a list of different products. So that's what we'll be working on. Like, and and, and like we wanted something that we feel comfortable. Say, yeah, yeah, okay, like it. It's a little bit like my app. There's a list. There's different pages and things like that. So calling different APIs, you know. So like, 
wanted the app to be look like something you may have, but not too complex. So the focus can stay on like what we are doing. Yes. Yep. So we saw it. That's the app. That's the app in monolith mode. So like a big one project. And it's, it was running locally. So that's great. So let me stop that. And I will bring back my pretty view. Voila. So it's a little bit more human friendly. And uh, what you learn in here, like that's like it's going over to all the, the details. And after that, well, we want to go in the Azure container apps. So we need containers. We already provided all the, the Docker file you need for, for, for you to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. uh, so the only thing you need to do is like really to build. And I already did that. So you could just see like compiling, download a basic image and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then it just like build images. So if you look into your Docker, you will see now different images that are like, you will see the uh, shop light store latest present in your images. Sure. And then to run it still locally. Yeah. You could do Docker run and then your specify port, that's how Docker works, right? And I, and it can also probably work with uh, Podman. I install, I started playing with that a little bit for fun. It's been pretty uh, smooth transition. Cool. But yeah, so Docker run, uh, and then here it's to run in daemon or detach, depending on like what's the easiest for you to remember. Uh -huh. And like you specify your image. So if I take this, copy it, I will bring here, let's do a clear, and I paste that, that's it. Now, cool. what happened? <laughs> so now one thing I can do is, uh, not this, let's bring a new browser. And we said it was the port 8080, right? Mm -hmm. So now I need to go on localhost port 8080. And boom, here we are. No surprise or surprise. It's our app, the same app with the super nice AI generated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it is the same app we were using. So that's perfect. So now we package or we dockerize. I'm not sure if it's a real word, but I, I decided it is. <laughs> and I'm using it. So we have our app. And it's great, it's running. So now what we could do to deploy, if we follow again, so, oh yeah, I should have done that. So like I said, it was running in Docker. So let's go up a little bit. It's still running, right? Yeah. So if I do Docker VS, then we see that my Docker image is running. And that's the, you know, when we did run the command, it was like a big, ID, like a big series of letters and numbers. That's my container ID that was there. So it's it's up and running It's just like a minute ago. Okay. So it will be there until I do a Docker stop and stop it. So you, you could run it like that, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to deploy into Azure and have a look over there. So when we look at it is now we could use Azure container apps. Mm. Azure Container, Azure Developer CLI. My yes. God. So what you do with Azure Developer CLI, Azure AZD, is you run a init. Mm -hmm. It will ask you a few questions. You could use it with template, but today what we want is, a, hey, use the code in my folder. And you say, yes. So you just say, yep, use this. And it will look at the code and say, oh, I think your app would be good for X. And hopefully it's it's going for Azure Container Apps. It is perfect. So I could confirm. And now I give it a name. And why would I give it a name? Well, as a developer, I'm sure, Matt, you you deploy in different environment. Maybe it's your personal, maybe it's the team one, QA production. There's different environments. So now you're given a name and that name will also be used for your resource group in Azure. Mm -hmm. So you could say ACA. Cool. Chapter two, demo. Nice. That's my name. And now I generated a bunch of, of different files for me to help me deploy and go later. That's it, right? I could go and it generate. The only thing I need to do now is really to change because 
right now, it didn't know that my app was um, in a container. So I need to specify a little bit more the details. Uh huh. So that's what you do. You go in your, am I in the good chapter? I am in the good chapter. But I need to see the chapter view because it's not a file project. So in the sample, yes, in the YAML. Now see, there was this. We need to copy yeah. paste this part. And anybody who used in the past Yammer will tell you, be careful with the indentation mm -hmm. because it is really important. So you just do this like that. Uh -huh. And that will really help the the container, the the CLI to know where is your Docker file and things like that. So we did create for you the Docker file. We yeah. named it Docker file store. And just say, hey, the path is over there and then it will be used. And then that's it. AZD up. You, you run AZD up and it will take a few minutes. Yeah. It's pretty fast because um, the, the deployment will be making everything in parallel, like all the resources that could be deployed at the same time, because sometimes mm -hmm. you need storage before deploying some yeah. code and stuff like that. But everything that can be paralyzed will be paralyzed. So deployment are usually pretty fast, but like any good um, cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. I already done it. Uh, let me just bring the good window where it is. So there it is. So it's the same app we had, right? with our little animation here. Mm -hmm. and this one is a little bit slow because I did had stuff to slow it down. Yep. So like if you notice it's slow, it's uh, like the, I had a, a button that's for a future demo, but like you have the product. So it's the same app. It's running, if I zoom, 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 it's running in Azure. Yep, a shop light with a bunch of stuff right behind it, but Azure Container Apps. Container Apps. There. So it, it is there and it's running in my Azure. Uh, and uh, there it is. I have all the resource, everything went well, and I have the control. I could start playing with those resources. And uh, yeah. So that's it. yeah, the cool part here is really all you did was do an AZD in it. It created Azure Developer CLI, created everything really for you. And then we went in and told it where to look for the Docker file now docker files do kind of is pretty you'll see it in the in the code in there in the repo but it's pretty simplistic and then azd up and then azd up took care of everything and like you said it does take a couple minutes uh provision but and after that provision all aca it provision everything that aca would have needed should we like are we using a database or whatnot and it deployed the app boom yeah well, exactly okay. everything is done for us and now we can start playing with that and cool. uh yeah and when you're done and when like you, you want to move on like you don't need that resources we can still leverage uh azure container azure developer cli azd and uh, the, the command to to do is azd down and if you don't want to say yes 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 because you know it will ask you validating mm -hmm. you are you want to delete that resource you could force it and do a purge done and that will delete and make sure everything is clean it will run it could take like five minutes, something like that. It yeah. will make sure to delete everything. And this time, like it, it cannot delete multiple things. So like it's doing really kind of like in order. Yeah. Cool. To make sure like there's no uh, anything orphan left yeah. there. And yeah, and with that, uh, we'll be ready for the next episode. We'll, we'll be talking more about authentication because uh -huh. security is important, Matt. Yes, it is, Frank. Lock it down. All right. Frank, that was great. Really hardly, and no, no code changes at all unless you count Docker file as a, as a code change. So great, Frank. Thank you very much. Monolith up on ACA. Next episode, check out authentication. Off N, off Z. Let's really protect our apps. Next time. Bye. Bye.